maybe ever play. I wanted to maybe, maybe ever play that that skill of mine, get it with the dog my team. Justin, how nice is this just bouncing back after losing by 32 <coughs> up there to come back and win here tonight? Oh, I mean, it was great. I mean, it, I know it gives some of the younger guys confidence that, that they can be done. I mean, we, we went up there and got, I mean, flat out embarrassed in, in West Virginia and to come back and, and beat that team. Uh, I mean, it's, it's huge for us. Um, hopefully we can build off this moving forward. We've been able to protect our home floor pretty well. Um, I mean, we lost a few games, but we protected it pretty well. Hopefully we can um, steal a row game. Desmond, how uh, frustrating was it that last basket that got called offensive foul on you? Uh, I mean, I, I was frustrated, but if we would have been down a point or so, I would have been more frustrated. But I knew we were going to pull it out in overtime, so I didn't really, really sweat it. I mean, five more minutes of basketball, I mean, it, it was good. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed playing overtime, battling, competing. Were you surprised they called it there? Or do you feel like he did push off? Oh, I mean, I did, but he bumped me first, <laughs> for one. And for two, like, you just don't call that on with 0.9 seconds left. But, I mean, it is what it is. You guys were getting out rebounded pretty significantly in the first half, and that completely shifted after halftime into overtime. What was the difference for you guys coming out of the break? Um, that's just something the coach was really stressing. I mean, we knew in order to win this game, we're going to have to win a rebounding battle. And um, in the first half, we didn't get it done. Um, the second half, Kev was huge for us. And I feel like we made a collective effort as a team to, you know, score in the glass and, and rebound. RJ, how much more comfortable are you becoming playing more point and, and talk about your game as well, 16 points, and seem like you came through when you needed to? Right. Um, you know, it's definitely – um, it's been a smooth transition. Um, makes it easier when you have the best big, the best guard as well. So not that difficult. But um, you know, it's just go out there, compete on defense, get my teammates involved, set them up for easy baskets, and then not get mine within the flow. I mean, you got Dez, I mean, he had what, like, ten assists today. So I mean, it's easy to get buckets even when I'm playing the point. So. You know, it was, it was a smooth adjustment, but it's been fun. I'm looking forward to keeping going and getting these more, getting more wins in this conference. Desmond, speaking about that number he's talking about, what does it mean for you to be able to, you know, feed your teammates, get them involved, and reach double digit misses today? Oh, I mean, it's great, but I mean, a lot of it came came easy. Honestly, I mean, I was just passing to them and they make the shot. I mean, that, that makes it pretty easy on my job. I didn't have to do too much, nothing um, really out of the ordinary. Um, Everybody just making shots. So, I mean, I looked over. RJ told me that I had 10 assists. I didn't even know it. Um, yeah, I mean, they, I got great players all around me throughout the whole whole team and program. So, yeah, I mean, it makes it easy. Desmond, what about uh, Edric's game? He's had kind of a limited role the last couple of weeks and came up big once that point was going down. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I sat down and talked with him actually just, just two days ago. And we stayed after probably for about an hour and just – just talked ball and talked about everything. And I told him that um, sooner or later his opportunity was going to come. And um, it did today, and I thought, I thought he handled it well and, and took advantage of it.